The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Okay, folks, Larry Fesavento with a mid-afternoon update with uh, two hours to go. The stocks are down a couple hundred points in the Dow, down 40 or so in the S&P, down 80 or so in the NASDAQ. Russell also down about three-quarters of a percent. Uh, the big moves of the day, of course, have been gold hitting the $22,044 level. We're now trading around 2036 and silver hitting $25 an ounce, folks. We haven't seen this price in silver in a very, very long time. And uh, remember the old highs in silver, the first one was 1980, January the 20th, 1980. It hit $54 an ounce, and again, we hit that again in 2016. I have made a prediction here that we ever close above $60 in silver per ounce, we'll see somewhere near $100 in silver uh, without any trouble at all, because uh, they don't make it anymore, and it's a beautiful metal, and uh, more and more people are interested in it because of what's going on in the governments and blockchains and cryptos and all the other stuff. So I think we're going to go. So I'm very, very bullish to silver, have been since $7 an ounce. And I told everybody to buy it anytime it's near $14. We were there a few years ago, and that's when gold was trading at 1030 That was a big bull move of that year, December 2000, uh, excuse me, 2016, we hit $1,030 an ounce. We've doubled that price now in the last nine years, and we're just beginning to see. I think we'll see sometime in this decade, which gives us another seven years, we'll see $3,500 an ounce in gold, maybe even a lot higher, depending upon what happens in the political environment out there. So very, very interesting. When I was a kid, well, we got a break coming up here, but I'll tell the story about gold and my grandfather because uh, he lived during the Depression years when they took uh, 1932, they took gold away from everybody. They didn't take it away from him. He wouldn't give it. So he, he kept it uh, all those years. And <laughs> Anyway, it was a really interesting story behind it. Anyway, let's take a little break here. Uh, we get back. We're going to have Stan Harley again as our guest uh, talking about more of these cycles. He's got a little bit better connection coming up pretty soon. So That'll be uh, real interesting, too. But we got to talk about the bank stocks because uh, this is a what this is just the beginning, folks. This is not the end of this thing. So let's so uh, let's pay attention to that. OK, we're going to cover that when we get back. OK, the reality 